What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. It's kind of a big day because we're diving into the STI motor build now. As you guys know, with my older videos with rebuilding the Evo 10 motor, which is the car I'm currently in right now, I learned a lot about motor builds. I learned a lot about cars just in general, but this whole STI is taking it to a whole nother level. I feel like I got pretty comfortable with learning about Evos just because between him and I, I have one and then he had, he had four at one point so I feel like I got pretty comfortable with that and then bringing the STI into the group of family of cars it, it's crazy how much different they are just the way that they're both set up it, it's just a lot different so I feel like I'm learning a lot more with that as well so from what I know Devin is going to be having me put together ooh, put together a lot of this motor and so I'm kind of excited to see what we have in store, but he is currently working on his Eva right now and I'm inside the car getting warm because it is probably 40 degrees out right now and I forgot to bring my big jacket so I'm really cold. Let's get started on this STI build. Look at this pretty girl. I feel like I always forget about showing you guys this, but she's looking pretty good. Okay, so I'm bored in the shop. I'm in the shop board. What are you? What are you hammering it away on? I was just straightening out a bit. So you're telling me... Board in the shop, and I'm in the shop board. I'm bored in the shop. I'm in the shop board. Baby. What's up? Calm down, okay? What am I telling you? You're telling me that we're going to assemble this motor. We're not. I... You're assembling, okay. baby. Little tidbit, if you want to get more... Engine. If you want to get more views on YouTube, you got some shit in your teeth you might want to pull out. What? I didn't do nothing. Let me get it. That hurt. Oh, you already got it. Yeah, no, this is, this is, I don't know if I would trust you assembling a short block quite yet, because there's so many, like, I mean, we could, could do it together. There's so many Spit it out, baby. critical parts to oh. the short block, like bearing tolerances, pit ring end gaps. I, uh, um. <laughs> but the top end is literally, you put on the heads, you tighten some bolts, you put on the cams, you tighten some no! bolts. <laughs> Don't just get too technical. Board at the top. I'm in the top board. <laughs> All right, should we do the tag, tag, tag? Yeah. Tag? As you guys remember, well, as you guys can see, there's no STI here. It is getting worked on at the frame shop. So that's why we're taking this time, taking advantage of this time that it's gone to build the motor. So Tranny is sitting down there. Look at all these goodies. And we have more down here. These are, this is the box of new parts. Jeez, it's a lot of parts. Yeah, there's a lot of, we're doing a lot of new stuff on here. All right. I mean, not a ton of new stuff. Like this is gonna be a hundred percent OEM stock, long block, like stock pistons, stock rods, all that. This is what we're working with. This is the bottom end of the motor or the engine. This is the top part, turning these down here. I'm all new to this. This is literally gonna be like step by step. Devin's gonna be teaching me. I learned a little bit with the Evo, but the Evo setup's a lot different. This is gonna be like foreign, completely foreign to me. I don't know. I'm getting warm in the shop though. And we'll get started in just a sec. Okay, babe. Here's a key. If you don't wanna have hand, hands up like mine, throw some gloves on, all right? I got you. First step is gonna be to put my hair in a ponytail because we don't want my hair getting caught in an engine. Am I right? You're right. I'm really getting prepared for this moment. Ready. Put it together. <laughs> oh, you're a great teacher. So I already explained, babe, like tell me if I'm wrong. This is the bottom end of the motor. Correct. This is the top end. Essentially. Essentially. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay. And yeah, I just want to make sure I was right on that. We're going to complete the bottom end first, sorry, babe. Okay. So we're going to put the oil pan on, oil cooler on. This is sealed with sealant. There's no gasket. Okay. okay. So that's what this is for. Oh, I don't do sealant. Oh, you're going to do sealant. Sorry. And sealant of choice today is the Ultra Gray Permatex. All right. I'm going to try to like explain like I was telling someone that doesn't know anything. Oh frick, right. I got some in my eye already. So anytime you're sealing something, gasket surfaces. Okay. No matter if it's a gasket or if you're using sealant, 
You want to clean the surface. Do you think sealant is going to stick to oil? Definitely not. So what are you going to use to clean it? What do you think? We always use brake cleaner. Okay. Grab brake cleaner. We're going to wipe the whole surface down and this surface. All right. Okay. We're going to grab one of those. Might want to wear a mask if you use all of this stuff. Is this what you do? Yeah, perfect. Oh, but there's a lot of gunk on it. Do I have to get every little thing off? You just want all the oil off, okay? What's this? Old sealant? That's not gonna matter, yeah. But I kinda want it like really shiny. Is that clean enough? Mm -hmm. You gotta always make sure you have all the proper seals in the right place, alright? Okay. So, or else you probably won't have oil pressure. So there's a seal right here. Okay. Just a little FYI, make sure that's on there. Of course it is, because okay. I already put it on there for you. So yeah, same thing on that edge. Wipe that down. The whole thing? Mm -hmm. Start running the bead around the whole edge. Like right in the middle? Yeah, right. But you can't go where the circles are, right? Yeah, you can. It'll be fine. I'm really shaky right now. Is it kind of scary? I wouldn't say scary. I'd rather just say, I don't know. <laughs> Ready to go on the motor, right? Can you do this part? Nope. Damn it. This is like the most nerve wracking part of the whole shebang. What? Why? Because I'm so shaky. Don't be shaky. I, I always am, though. I don't know how to do this. Baby, you can get it, I promise. Well, why am I running into some things? Is that right? Yes. Good job. Here's your bolts. Okay. Devin just had me put all the bolts in the oil pan and we have to wait an hour and a half to let it dry. One hour. One hour to let it dry. And we just cranked her down hand tight. The only other thing we can do while this motor's flipped over is the oil cooler. So that is this guy right here. There's the oil cooler. I think that you should let me choose the parts. You should save them and I, I decide oh, what they Oh, okay. Are. Yeah, definitely. Mm? Damn. No, you had it right. Okay. Do you know how to set it? No. That's 20. See the zero lines up the 20? Yeah. If you want 21, you go like that. So make it to where the zero lines up with the 40. Is that 40? Yes. Yep, keep going. To win. It clicks. Bam. Done. Done like Kay. Donald Trump. Now what? Push it to the bottom. Yep, yep, yep. Crank her, crank her. <laughs> Perfect. Look how happy you get when you get it right. <laughs> Got her good. A little bit more. Perfect. Okay, so we're done with the bottom end. Okay. Pan sealed. We're all good to go there. Now it's time for the heads. The exciting part. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Should we get her done? Let's do it. So Devin and I just got in doing the other side. Well, he pretty much walked me through it. I torqued down the other head and it took me a pretty long time. And guys, it's getting super late. So Devin's gonna just bust it out and torque this side down. All right, you guys, Devin just got done doing the other side. So tonight we're gonna wrap it up just because it's getting pretty late and I have to work very early in the morning, but we're gonna come back over here tomorrow and assemble the whole entire motor. 
So I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, you guys, it's the next day and I just got off work and I came home to this beautiful bagel made by the one and the only. Oh, shit, missed. I, I hate when I miss my balls. Honey. Go down, no. catch, wash this. I'm gonna dunk from the head. No, 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 no. That's not going on the camera. That's animal abuse. This is a cat ball. If someone thinks this is animal abuse, they're giant pee hot. Punani? Damn, I almost got him. <laughs> Shit, can I have a bite? No, not right now. I don't get a taste of my own creation. Not right now. You can have the last bite. I'm gonna go poop. We're gonna head to the shop here shortly. And we're gonna continue to build this motor. Devin's gonna teach me all sorts of goodies, so. Yeah, let me eat this and let's head over there. Can I have a bite? Right let me get this straight. I make you a gourmet breakfast. Is it gourmet or is it kind of shit? Oh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good? I forgot the butter spray though. Is it a little dry? Not the only thing dry in your life. If you guys watch my previous videos, you would know that we are getting the STI wheels repowder coated. Well, Devin is actually gonna do it. We're just waiting on the powder to come in. And these are the new tires that just came in for the STI. Beefy? Yeah, they are really beefy. Cheap as shit. Really? I don't know, I've never ran this brand before. Hmm. Let's see, they're like 300 bucks for all of them though. That's they're so like 250 bucks. 200 bucks. Let's do a live a deal. This is what we finished last night, guys. Devin did this head, and then I did this one down here. And honestly, it wasn't as bad as I thought. I kind of had some fun with it. We're gonna finish it all up today though, for the most part, right babe? Everything? Time, yeah. yeah, if we have time. We're gonna do the valve covers. These guys right here. Begin your teaching. Begin my teaching? Yes. We're gonna wanna put some lube right here, you said? Not lube, sealant. Sealant. Do I gotta clean it off again? Yeah, I'd recommend cleaning that. Anytime you're throwing a seal or a gasket on, you wanna clean it with boot cleaner. All right, get the valve cover. It'll be this one here. All right, so very, very, very thin layer of that stuff on each side of the seal, okay? Do I have to press it in? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you see how far that sticks out? It's too long right there. So we'll go in this spot here. And that'll take a shorter bolt. Oh. Just run them down. Zero ugga duggas. Okay, perfect. All right, how long do we have to let that dry for? Remember from yesterday? An hour. An hour, okay. So let's flip it over to the other side. We're putting the timing covers on. Right, babe? The inners, yep. Inners. How far does that have to go in there? All the way. To the bot thing? Mm hmm. Maybe so I go under? Yeah, so it yeah, goes under. There you go. Perfect. How tight can these ones go? One ugga dugga. Like Perfect. that? Yep. Same thing? Mm -hmm. How tired are you? I'm really tired. Okay, let's just get this timing done and then maybe can take a nap. Yeah. All right. We're gonna do the cams and the timing belt. Cam gears. Cam gears and the timing belt. Where's the cam gears? Cam gears are gonna be right here. And where's the timing belt? Down yonder. Can I peek? Sure. Are these supposed to be really expensive? The whole timing kit is Espendia, but obviously as you saw, you don't want to break a timing belt, so it's worth replacing them. Yeah. So okay. yeah, there's the belt, that's the tensioner, there's three idlers right there, we already got one idler on. Okay, so that's pretty much all the stuff we need so to... So what's the first step that you want me to do? First step is we got to get all the cam gears onto the cams. This is the exhaust right here inside. Okay, perfect. Oh, there, there we go. go. The timing of this motor is pretty simple. You see this marker here? Mm -hmm. That's gonna line up there. We got a mark here that lines up there. And then there's two right in the center that have to line up. Same exact thing on this side on the crank. That 
that. There's a line right there that lines up with that. Okay. So Devin and I just got the belt in properly. And now he wants me to crank it over to see if it works. Now. And if it hits something, don't jam it because that means something's going on. Do I just keep on going? Yep, keep spinning around. Does it seem fine? It's beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna check timing again. So we're gonna line up that. Line up that, that's good, that's good. You're poking your butt in my face. Timing's all good to go. Okay. All right, so pretty much what we have to do from here, we have a guide to put on here. We have those two that we forgot to order, so we gotta buy those. We have that guide there to set, and then we have to torque down the cam gear bolts, which go to 60 foot-pounds, and then every single pulley and tensioner you see in there. I think we go to like 34, I'll have to look it up. Okay. So as soon as you get those done, we can, we'll be done with timing. All right, you guys, Devin actually finished up um, the rest of the motor just because I got so cold in the shop just because he won't let me turn on a fire because <laughs> it's so loud in the background, which I understand. I but, won't, it's not that I won't let you. I just want you to have optimum audio. But this is as far as we got. So I hope you guys enjoyed me learning how to build the motor. I had a lot of fun and I'm sure there's more to come. And also we have a lot more to put on the car. Just get a good look at everything back there. I have a really good good little feeling that Devin's gonna make me do that, which I'm actually, it not make me, but like teach me. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and remember to like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.